Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. APC levies fresh allegation against INEC, Mike Igini, over midnight meeting with Obaseki. Hey, my people, oh, ba, ba, ba. Hey, they said they are holding meeting with you. Hmm. Anyway, my people, I know, I know, I know, yes, right? Yes, I know. You can say that again and you can have a laugh. Well, the finger pointing game is on. And it's part of politics, okay? APC will always accuse PDP. And PDP, on the other hand, will always accuse APC. Have you been hearing of the case of uh, violence and all that? Why APC is saying it's PDP? PDP is saying it's APC. I mean, it's part of it. It's called politics. And that's why they term, the, they term it a dirty game. Where you are saying that this is black. They are convincing you otherwise that it is red or pink. And they are giving you facts. But you are seeing it. They are changing your mind. You know, Nigeria, we have a, a slogan that says, you they watch and me, they go. By the way, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time we're reaching you today, very warm big thank you to every one of you. Thank you so much for supporting us. Yes, so the allegations are going on. Is I mean, we call it alleged because it has not been confirmed. Okay, so when they say alleged, it's like when there is smoke without when you know when there is smoke somewhere, you cannot see exactly. You can just see the smoke rising up. You are not sure exactly where it is coming from until you thoroughly investigate. Then you can say, oh, it is coming from the mid not east, uh, west, the, the north. However those names are put together and you can articulately mention with precision well the you know the blaming game is on apc is alleging that obasek is having midnight meetings with um I neck my people. Let's get onto the news and understand what Obaseki is doing in the night with I neck. Abi now. Mm -hmm. APC levies fresh allegations against I neck. Mike Igini over midnight meeting with Obaseki. Mr. Mike Igini, I neck residential electoral commission, Aqua Ibom State has been asked by I neck to explain his presence at the government house in Benin City, where National Commissioner of the Electoral Body from, from Abuja were lodged in fresh allegation raised by the party over a Guinea's alleged con conversation with Governor Gordon Obaseki, Obaseki to rig the September 19 governorship election. Recall that the APC has earlier alleged that Mr. Mike Igini met with Governor Gordon Obaseki in his private residence at, at dawn on, on Thursday, where they had a secret meeting. According to the account of the APC, Mr. Mike Igini left the meeting with sack of money. Hey, Mr. Mike, how far now? And sus um, subsequently intensify his unsaturated recruitment of youth corp members, traditionally engaging, engaged by INEC to serve as preceding officers at the polling unit. In a new statement released by Mr. John Maeki, the chairman of the APC Media Campaign Council on Friday, the APC says what it has received testimonies from some contacted youth core members who gave details on how they were approached by Mr. Igini and offered to deal to sweep the results, to switch the results with force pre-written ballot buses and to switch it in the government house. The APC also claimed that Mr. Mike Igini approached INEC Commissioner, INEC, I, INEC Commissioner for invitation from Abuja when he came to Benin City to see the Oba. We have obtained pictures of Mr. Mike Igini in Pavo Hotel. We have where he visited the National Commissioner from INEC from Abuja, who lodged there. He apparently went there to run the errands of Governor Gordon Obaseki and the People's Democratic Party. We overheard at the, at the hotel discussion that the Edo government 
governorship election and the recruitment of the staffs in the att in attempt to ascertain the disruption of the officers to make sure that they put their own people there to rig the election. We dare Mr. Mike Guinea to deny this present is present at the hotel, and we shall immediately supply pictorial evidences of his presence in the hotel. The party charged INEC to investigate the sec the, uh, investigate and sanction Mr. Mikey Guinea and carry out a cleaning exercise. Make sure that anyone he has recruited do not take part in the um, whole election process. Press conference also released that Governor Gordon Obaseki has hired thugs and criminals and is influencing INEC in a do state to make sure that the election process is not free and fair. He's engaging Mike Igini, which we have proof and evidences. Our mission today is to alert you that the people of Edo State in, the, in our respect, Steve administration have found out that there is total plans by Governor Gordon Obaseki and the party, People Democratic Party, to rig September 19 election. This is because they are afraid of our presence and know that we can overturn the result by our presence and our vote. Hence, they are making plans to make sure that the election does not go free and fair. Did you hear APC? So that is the level of allegation. They said they have pictures. Uh, they said they have uh, things on ground uh, to show to Mr. Mike Guinea that they should there deny that he was not there at the hotel. They said Mr. Mike Guinea, oh, he was with Governor Godwin Obaseki, and when he was leaving, that he left with bags. Ayakala. They said the guy left with bags, oh, hmm. He left with bags, you know. And we know what bags mean in Nigeria. He left with bags, oh. So they said, well, they are looking at the situation and they are calling on INEC to investigate the allegations that they are bringing before them with regards to Governor Gordon Obaseki and Mike Igini. They said Mike Igini also as they begin to uh, employ youth core members and the purpose of this youth core members is that they've uh, gotten reliable information from the youth core member that they've been told that they, their duty is to make sure that they switch the ballot buses on the very day of election hmm. hey nigerians so we don't know and like i told you the finger pointing game is on okay so INEC will all um apc will tell you pdp is bad pdp will tell you apc is bad so people of Edo State, at the end of the day, you know who should be your governor. So don't allow anybody come with persuasive words just to derail you. You know what you want. If, it is, if you want a fresh idea, fresh perspective, you know which candidate to go for. If you want to retain what you have, saying there is no need to change a formula that work, you know what to go for. The ball is in your court. Vote and vote wisely. Bye from us.